Hello guys, welcome to Current Technologies. I'm Michael, and today we're gonna learn how to build a media style notification in Android. For that, we will develop a simple app that plays only one audio track. When you put your app in the background, a notification will appear in the notification bar where you can control your music player, pause, play, play next, uh, rewind, and so on. So here I created a new Android Studio project. I called it Media Style Notification. Before we move on, I want to tell you that to make our videos as short as possible, we will split this tutorial into two parts. This will be part one. We will just do the project setup and we will create our media player. And then in part two, we will build our notification. So first of all, we need to add a dependency. Here is it. Open your module.app gradle file. Paste this dependency here and sync the project. Yeah, sync successfully. Here in our resources, we need to create a new Android resource directory. Type is row. Click OK. Yeah, it's created. Here we're gonna put our audio track. So let's go back here. I have already my MP3. Copy. Paste, and I keep the name the same. You can use any track you want. Okay. Last thing, we need these two images for pose, icon, and play. So I add both to my Android project. Copy. Here, open the drawable folder and paste. Click OK. Yes. It's done. Open mainactivity.xml file. Please change this to frame layout. And remove this text view. Create instead an image view. Wrap content. Wrap content. Layout gravity. Center. And give it an ID. Play underscore pause underscore button. Yes, that's it. Go to mainactivity.java private image view call it pose play button in private media player and I call it my media player here inside main activity I will create a method called any views let's just click this right Let's say pause play button equal find view by id r dot id dot play pause button and let's give an initial background 
let's say pause play button dot set background resource are dot drawable dot play okay so here let's create another method where we're gonna create our media player object private void create media player it takes no parameter let's say my media player equal media player dot create pass this and r dot row dot counting and call this method here create media player so here to control our music to play or to pause using this image view we will set an on click listener to this pause play button so here let's create a new method we'll call it handle clicks this created just cut paste it down here we will say pause play button dot set on click listener new on click listener here we will check if our song is already playing we will pause if it's paused we will start it so to do that we will create a new method I will call it play pause song inside this method will make an if statement checking if my media player is playing my media player dot pause and then change the background resource to the button Yes, this one are dot drawable dot play. Else, which means it's paused or stopped, just copy these two lines, paste it here, change this icon to be pause change this function code start and don't forget to call this method here inside the on click so now the first part of our app is ready let's run to test the app so now the app is running Let's check if it's working or not. Click this button. Yeah, it's working. I can play, pause. Okay, it's working fine. So yeah, we are done in this video. In part two, we'll start building our notification. See you and happy coding.